this one. Got the right wire. Let's see. It's a cup have I changed anything in here? Not really, I guess. this what are you gonna hand me this room is miserable let me just say it says cut Betty They're gonna bump each other. Oh, okay, he just doesn't care. Okay, cool. <coughs> I guess this works. That wasn't an issue. So they're just a mean machine. <laughs> no, it's actual machine. Yep. Uh, well, there's a manufacturing thing on this, so let's have a look. Uh, number two. Uh, Charlie. And that's what it looks like. Okay. No 
put this baby in the corner. In the corner. Corner. Here's Johnny. I'm Doctor Who. Who? Ha ha. Time. Uh, the time. Time light. One of the oldest memory will answer the most. Correct. Some of the oldest memory, does that mean the oldest one? Uh cut Charlie. I think I remember it showing me to cut this one. Okay. That was all the memory. That room's weird. Seems like it went all right. Let's go. Okay. We've been in this creepy room I take it long back. enough. This is the worst puzzle in the game. I guess the other answer is do you have to let it fail to get the other one? Where's Gab? I don't see him. Maybe he went off to another ward? I'll go and check in the prep room. Why there? Well, he could be coming through the air vent. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sigma, did those robots cause you to remember something? The robots? The ones we, we saw again? when we were in manufacturing. You started acting so strange after we entered that room. I've made a few before, in the past. Robots? You made robots? What? Well, I mean, all I really made was the outer appearance and the AI. Sounds like Frames most of a robot to me. Somewhere else. Why did you make them? It's a long story. Let's just say that it was vital to the completion of my plan. Ah, uh, no, here we go. Maybe that's not quite true. It could have just been my cover. To tell the truth. More story. I was simply lonely. I spent several decades of my life alone. In the middle of a desolate desert. I lived in a facility built deep underground. Much like this shelter is. Sometimes an acquaintance stopped by, but that was it. No calls or even emails. That's sad. It was a place of complete and utter quiet. No rain, no wind, just a buzz that echoed in my ears constantly. Mm. Still, it wasn't as if I was all alone at the start. Someone was there to help me for a short while after I started living at the facility. A woman. She was very lovely, kind and gentle. Her name was, well, let's just call her Dee. Dee and I... We lived together for three years. Her in the future. We spent the time researching genetics and studying various subjects like quantum mechanics, cosmology, biochemistry, and artificial intelligence. But. But? The woman passed away. Why? The facility's environment was very particular. To be brief, it had weak gravity. As a result, an illness developed within her circulatory system. And this killed her? My grief overwhelmed me. Two, three years passed, and, and the pain was as fresh as ever. Hmm. So that's why the robots... I recreated Dee's appearance as best I could. I made her thought patterns match as close as possible. I spent 25 years completing her. And of course, it was impossible to perfectly replicate everything about Dee. Still, she ended up pretty close. For a robot. I named her Luna. Luna was very devoted to me. Huh. I also found that I truly loved her. Not as a woman, but more like a daughter. Do you hate me? No, I'd never. 
I'm Shoot just never. really confused. Yeah, I'm with you, Diane. It took you 25 years to make that robot. Sigma, how old are you? I'm 67. No. You must be joking. <laughs> the first time hey, you're telling Diana, me? Diana, Sigma, come here. Okay. What is it? I've come up with a plan. Plan? Would you bring out the map, Diana? Okay. What's beyond the decontamination room? The hall for the elevator. So that would mean? If we open this door, we can get out of here? Okay. But how would we get it open? It's welded shut. Nothing less than a bomb would manage to dent it. Then, let's use one. Oh. What? Let's just use a bomb, and boom, the door will be blown away. Wait, you don't mean... The bomb in that room. Oh, okay. If I remember right, we only need to set the timer and press the start button. Correct. Once the timer ends, the red and blue balls are released. They both touch. That's when it explodes. Yeah. Okay. Get to it, Sigma. Huh? The two of us. We'll see you back in the lounge. Wait a second. You want me to carry it by myself? Men lift the heavy stuff. It's been the way of things since olden times. I'm the old one! But your body's 22, right? What? Don't forget to be careful moving it, okay? If those two balls touch early, we're goners. Diana what? and I won't have a way out anymore. Your concern for me is touching. Okay, let's go, Diana. Oh, um, okay. Real. <sighs> yeah, so we still have the stun gun. Phew. All set to go. Congratulations. Who the hell made you head honcho? Call me Boss Fi. When did you get so high and mighty? Since birth. My parents must have been real characters. Please, you two. More importantly, looks like the timer can only go up to 300 seconds. Five minutes, huh? Five minutes is plenty of time to get enough distance. Ready? Yeah. Ready when you are. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. I think this is far enough. How much time is left? I'd say four minutes, thirty sec. No. 20 seconds. Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Akane, Junpei. These three are now deceased. As a result, three X passes will be revealed. Fire. Crash. Fire. Okay. That is all. No. How? The execution. What? You forgot? Diana picked CT during the vote at 1330. Wait, what are you saying? Diana chose to vote for QT. Isn't that right? I... I... She knows she pressed the wrong one. Something influenced her. From outside of her life. What kind of nonsense are you trying to pull? 
Did you really believe that I wouldn't notice? Zero. Oh. What you're doing right now is considered a rule infraction. You are not allowed to leave by means other than the X door. That is one of the game rules. We never heard that rule before. As such, I decided I must break the rules as well. Q-Team is on the other side of the decontamination room at this moment. They lie unconscious from being injected with the anesthetic in their bracelets. Just so you know, the bomb you activated is really quite powerful. It's true that if it detonates, the door in the decontamination room will be blasted apart. Holy just as shit. You have At the same time, that means the deaths of the oblivious slumbering Q team. So just kill the other team. Now, what do you do? There are three minutes left. You can stop the timer and save Q team. Or leave them to die and make your own escape. What? The choice is yours. <sighs> Doesn't matter. It's definitely some kind of acid. There's no way we can get inside. This is a protective suit. We can go in if we put this on. But there's only one. I'll do it. No, Diana. But if someone doesn't go in, Q Team will. Then I'll go. No, I won't let you. Stop it. We're already too late. Even if someone gets the suit on, we won't make it in time. Get out of this room. There's no other way. What are you saying, Sigma? Uh, decision time? <sighs> time decision? Oh, you do. Uh, run away. Probably made a bad decision here. Where's Sigma? He's still in there. Sigma! Sigma! Oh, he sacrificed what are you himself? Doing? Open this door! No, I Sigma. have to do this. What do you mean? <laughs> Tried to hold me back if I said I'd go, right? You lied? Anyway, there's no time. You both need to get as far away as you can. Stop messing around, you're just gonna die. That's not it. It's just in case. I won't die. I will save everyone in Q Team. So. Sigma! 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 See, he has an interesting story. I just, I want to see where the rest of him goes. Yep. We had an explosion. So he didn't make it in time.
We... we need to get him medical attention. He's got both arms in his eye. I... I don't know how medical attention you can... I... I'll go check the other room. Just carrying the big ass boy on her back. 